Hey, hi, hello. It's your favorite fashion chat show. I'm your host, Dino Bonacic, and today on The Perfect X, I'm joined by Phoebe Lettuce Thompson, a stylist and brand consultant whose work embodies the essence of London style. Today, Phoebe's here to talk about the perfect shorts. Ready? Yeah. What are the three ingredients to the perfect pair of shorts? So fit, fabrication, and length. And what are the fit, fabrication, and length of your choice right now? Right now, I'm going below the knee, a wide cut, a wide fit, and denim, like a light denim. Basically what you're wearing now? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Keeping in mind sweaty public transport. Yes. We're, it's summer, it's, it's coming. hot, yeah. it's coming, yes. What are the textiles that you feel like everyone should have? I would stick with natural fibers, something that gives you a lot more circulation or air circulation, uh, like a linen or an 100% cotton. Nice. Yeah. Is there a dream pair of shorts you wish to have in your wardrobe? Yeah, there are like two pairs of shorts that I would love to have. Um, both very similar, both blue micro shorts. There's the 2003 band advert from Gucci for Tom Ford. And then the Britney Spears performance for MTV in 2001, where she's with Banana the Python, 25 pounds on her shoulders, wiggling around in like tentacle hot pants. Micro. Micro, yeah. Um, menswear versus women's wear. Do you care which department your shorts come from? No, not at all. At the moment, leaning towards like the baggier styles that I'm more into, I would shop menswear. There's like a much wider variety there. Pun intended. <laughs> Um, I know you styled a few different outfits featuring pieces from Zalando yeah. for us. Um, let's have a look. Would love to. Um, the first pair is a pair of Adidas gym shorts, but styled in a very non-gym way. Non-gym way. That's what I kind of yeah love doing with a gym short is putting on a shoe and a top that you wouldn't usually wear with it. Mm. So um, mixing it up a bit always makes me think of this Brittany Murphy reference that I love. She's in full ballet attire and then Le Boutons yes. and like a Louis bag and yeah. just it's just a really iconic shot. Yeah. And I think that is inspires me to be like, wear a mule with your sports shorts, wear a knee high baggy boot, um, but then you can also wear them in the gym. So. Both Great investment, right. yeah. <laughs> the second outfit, it's a pair of jorts, but printed jorts from Camper Lab, which kind of chic. I didn't know they do clothes, but... Really, really love these. Denim shorts, that classic debate of jorts, aka jean shorts. What is your take? My take is, I also think of jorts as not the sort of Daisy Dukes that we mm. kind of grew up with. I think of them more as this like baggy style, but um, I love them. Mm. Here to stay, I hope. Yes. Yeah. Final outfit is a pair of short, short cargo shorts from O32C. Uh, is there such a thing as shorts that are too short? And what is your kind of length of choice? Okay, no to the first question, absolutely not. Go as short as you want. And for me personally, I would I would usually, my preferences are sort of just below the knee. I find that's where it cuts me off at my most flattering. And then much higher above the knee. I mean, people do say that an inch above the knee is like the right length, but I think it's all very, very personal on your leg shape. Go a bit higher, yeah, higher. Higher, higher, longer, bigger, yeah. extremes. Yeah. Yeah. Speed round, ready? Yeah. Yes. High cut or below the knee? Below the knee. Jorts or cargos? Jorts. Statement or staple? Staple. Shorts under skirts, yes or no? Yes. Yes, indeed. Finally, Phoebe, I'd love you to give me a trend for both men's and women's that you feel is worth investing this summer. I think women's bloomers. I think they're really fun, really good for summer, really in a breathable fabric, very versatile, um, good for the beach. You can wear them in the city as well. And then men's, I love a tailored short, but dressing it down. So like a layered t-shirt, a vest. I'll be investing in both. Thank Great, you. Great. Can't wait to see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Phoebe. Thank I absolutely you. enjoyed today. Hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And I'll catch you next time.